All right, the map is Europe, and we're this blue dot right here. Hello, that's us. Greetings and hello, and today we're doing a little spectating match. And if you're wondering why you should watch us spectate a match here, it's because one, it's just fun, and two, it's actually going to be extremely informative if you're new to the game here. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to take any land here, and eventually, once I get encapsulated by players, whatever, I'll just click the uh, surrender button. My thing will turn to a bot, and they'll eventually push me out. But for now, we're going to watch the board, and we're going to try to focus on the middle of the board here, because this is where the most action is going to be. The first few minutes are usually uh, fairly predictable in most matches. This guy is making a mistake right here. They had less troops than this person, started attacking them. This person got mad at him, full sent him, canceled the troops back again, full sends him again, and these two are just going to war, and these people around him are just loving it. This person was making a mistake by not attacking this person, getting that free lane while they're full sent, but now they're getting out a little bit. There we go. This person left and became a bot. You can tell by the font. It looks a little bit different, a little more grayed out, and the bot is attacking this uh, person there, pushing both out. That's what you don't want to do early. What you don't want to do early is fight other players. You want to focus on that free lane, like that little bit right there. You want to focus on the free lane first, and then the bots, and then once you've taken on the free lane and bots, you can then work on players who are a little bit low on troops. Um, like this guy right here is low on troops, so this guy's making the right call. They have no free land, they have no bots. So for this guy, they're going for this guy that's low on troop. And in turn, this guy's also doing the same thing. Free land's done, bots are done. They've got quadrupled the troops of this person right here. Um, something I noticed a lot of new players don't do, I'm talking really fast, I don't know why, um, is that a lot of new players will ignore the, the the troop number and just attack based on like the size of the land or whoever's close. You, you, this, you want to pay attention to the number below their name. That's how many troops they have. Like if you have... 225,000 troops like this guy does, and this guy has 260,000, that's a fight you typically don't want to take unless you're going to get other people to join in and help you beat them, because you, you're not going to beat somebody who has more troops than you. Just think about it. 10 guys aren't going to win a fight against 50 guys. Just not going to happen unless it's like 10 strong men versus 50 guys with like chronic illness or something right? like right like that right now sultan here is taking a move and going in on turkish land here i, I like this move on them i like their aggression they actually have a little bit less troops all right somebody finally pushed us out of there that's fine we lose control of my camera for a little bit um i could click surrender earlier um see right here uh they're taking they're, they're taking a little bit risky this guy had more troops for them for them than them for a little bit and yet they weren't afraid of that and they kept taking some uh tax over here and if you take a risk like that and it pays off it's pretty useful you know i find it's as long as your troop count is sim like kind of close in size to those people around you they tend to leave you alone if they have easier targets elsewhere like this guy's probably not gonna fight him when he could be over here attacking romania who's got like half the troops they do so usually it's like it's very important to be aware of both your troops and your borders and the size of people around you and uh i find it's like if you're playing on like right here serbia have to like you know maybe boat across whatever it's it's harder when you have to like it's harder to pay attention to all that when you have to worry about like boating and stuff like that player 917 is getting attacked by mr cool right here see right what mr cool is trying to do right here is they're trying to get people to gang up on the crown they might be trying to send some like they're they're realizing hey if, you know they could try to win this fight with this person right here who they're bigger than the troops and slowly win it but the problem is um, you know, like this guy's getting out of hand unless people join it, join it, join up on teaming up against them. They're all going to lose. And so they're trying to start the fight here. And it seems like a couple people are joining in. Serbia attacked a little bit. Void how to play attacked a little bit. Um, but it seems like they're kind of stopping. This guy's cut most probably most because he's uh, he's trolling up. Sorry, I don't know. Why I'm talking so quickly today. <laughs> Normally, I try to go for like a chill vibe. But apparently, I've got higher energy today. Also, just a lot to commentate, I suppose. Empire is doing really well here. Uh, took out this Gaspard guy. They've become the new crown here. And um, I think their best play right now is probably to save up troops a little bit. They have basically the same amount of troops as Rev and Ottoman. And yes, they're bigger than Drew Sealand here, but um, like they, they they need to save up a little bit, make sure they don't get ganged up on. Let these guys do some work taking out Sealand. They can maybe boat across here and attack that a little bit. There we go. They, they clean that up here. Looks like Mr. Cool left and became a bot and they're getting pushed out by this person, probably because they gave up because not enough people were joining in and get on the crown here. We've got some people turtled up in the corner here. These two guys should probably both start working on this guy right here. You know, that's just, that's just, that's just free land for the two of them. They're probably worried about each other. Midwest Expansion doing really well in the bottom left down here. Their next target would probably be either Thunder or Turkey here based on the size of their troops. Although their best move is going to be to sit back and save up troops because Ohio actually has more troops than they do. And that's dangerous. Ohio could go to war with him and then all the other two could join in. Serbia is actually attacking Thunder, which is an interesting move on their part. 
Player 804 is getting taken out here by the three of these. Player 570 is getting taken out by the crown. All right, so once you've gotten like, you know, five minutes deep into the game, a lot of the noobs, most of the noobs tend to get pushed out and tends to be more of the experienced players left, although some noobs will stick around and get lucky. Thunder's getting pushed out, Red's getting pushed out. How are we doing up here? These two still haven't ganged up against uh, this guy here. Maybe these two have an alliance trying to work on this guy, I don't know. Just kind of weird they're not taking the chance to get free land there for themselves and get big. Mid Midwest Expansion's doing good. Midwest Expansion's playing a dangerous game. See how they're getting... Yep, yep. They, they're they're letting the troops get a little bit low. Ohio start attacking them. And, uh, you know, now they, need, and now they need to sit back and defend up right here. Um, I'm not sure if they were like... If these two are getting up on them, that's why they pushed them out. Or if this person just took a risk, they should get a little bit of this. Doesn't cost them too much troops. Ooh, they got blocked off by Serbia. That's that's bad. That's a lot of land they could have had. And now Serbia is going like, to kind of skyrocket the leaderboard and get pretty big for them. Empire and Serbia can both carve through Arabic Empire really easily. Serbia doesn't really need to worry. These guys are these guys are finally working on them. Serbia doesn't really need to worry about uh, Midwest expansion if they are aware that Ohio is attacking them. But they don't know that. Plus, people can make like a truce or something like that, which is you know. A thing that can happen but uh if i'm serbia i'm asking empire to attack Air or arabic empire there but uh empire is probably going to focus on ottoman asian name guy who is god is attacking ottoman but unfortunately for them they're being attacked by russian federation from the side which is probably russian federation's best move they don't want to fight this person this person because they're bigger they've got terrible borders on these two so yeah their best target is probably to try and carve away in this guy and get these two to join in on them sultan ss is kind of like the small guy in the leaderboard here and they're honestly just kind of waiting to get pushed out sometimes once once you've gotten the point where you're like yeah they're the of all the people who have like a decent number of pixels left they're on the bottom once you get down to like last place here your 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 days are numbered unless you have just the most insane luck of other people fighting each other and you just getting free land which seldom happens so yep they're getting pushed out next and once they've been pushed out here 917 this is the person who's getting ganged up on there they've re resumed having the crown if they hadn't gotten uh ganged up on for a little bit earlier on there by that cool guys kind of starting it they probably would be even farther in lead in the lead just having swept through smart players but their ascent to the cr to the crown got slowed down here hmm i think uh I think these four right here should probably all gang up on Asian name who over here, guy who is God there, and just kind of split their lane up. All oh, this guy's gonna get the bulk of it. Russian Federation is getting pushed out by the crown. An interesting move by 907. Honestly, probably their best move because he does have a low amount of troops and they get a decent chunk of that. And 233 is getting pushed out there. They're gonna want to pay attention to 233 getting pushed out here. They might be the kind of player who plays like this. And they might not see that 233 is also going to get pushed out. And they, they might not get any of this land. Nope, they did see it. Okay, that's good. So they get some of that. They need to keep going to Russian Federation there. Got the crown back. That's good. The problem is... Oh, these guys are... Like Midwest Expansion Ohio is having like a, a war of the ages back and forth here. This guy left and became a bot. The bot's attacking Empire here, which is unfortunate for them. Unless these guys don't realize it and they sweep all of it back. Ooh the, bot Ooh, the bot attacked them and pushed them back so they can't get any of it. That's rough for them. If this guy doesn't realize it, Empire's can take all their land. This person really... There they go. Now they're going to have it. This person could have gotten a lot more of that. Um, looks like uh, Midwest Expansion is finally taking Ohio, which is ironic because Ohio is part of, of the Midwest. Or maybe it makes perfect sense. They're in fourth place down there. Um, Arabic Empire has left, became a bot, and the bot's attacking Syria pretty aggressively. Empire needs to realize this and gain some of that land. I do think the bot's... Uh, need to behave differently when they replace players. They need to attack like maybe 5 to 10 percent of their troops and it needs to never attack the same person twice in a row. Um, but who knows how many months will be before the devs ever change that, if at all. Looks like player 970 is going to go through Midwest expansion. Makes sense. They've got advantage. I do feel like they might be playing a little bit fast and loose with their troops. They're letting this guy sit on like two to three million more troops than them. And this guy is boating across into them by the looks of things. Um, no, that's Russian Federation trying to be a little troll. Nope, they are attacking them. Yep, why you spawn here and oh well, are both gang up on 917, which is uh, unfortunate for them. And Serbia's joining in as well. So unfortunately, uh, 917, partially because they let themselves get a little bit too low in troops compared to those around them. And also sometimes people might just gang up in the crown regardless. They're getting ganged up on here. Now they're in the rough situation where once you start getting ganged up on like this, it's very difficult to get people to stop. Um, you can try to play the political game, try to threaten full sends if you're in the full send game mode. But, I mean, especially with Serbia having 17 million troops, I don't really see this stopping. There's no, as long, unless Empire starts attacking one of these three in the back, I don't see any reason for any of them to stop fighting 917. 917 is making the right call here and just defending up. Keep your troops at home. It takes twice as many troops for them to take them out. If you want, for them to take out a million of your troops, somebody has to send two million on you. Now they're attacking Owo back here, and that's a mistake because you're not taking, now you're like inverting it. You're spending a million troops to only 
only take out half a million of theirs. And that just weakens you up even more. And it makes it even easier for them to take you out. What you want to do is sit back, play the political game, try to truce up, try to encourage them to fight with each other. Empire here is sitting on maximum capacity troops, not attacking anybody. Somebody chose to not vote for peace, probably the guy with the crown. Probably has to clean it up. It's actually a fairly close match. Everybody has fairly uh, similar amount of uh, tr uh, land uh, on, on the board, pixels. And troop-wise, uh, if 917 would stop attacking back, he, the problem is every time 917 attacks back, they just make themselves a more desirable target. And now they've just kind of given up and they're really mad at this person. So they're basically full sending on them. And now Serbia sees this and they're just going to get us, they're just laughing all the way to the bank, just getting all that land for free. Now the question is, yeah, look, look at all that land. Oh, that's, they're such, they've got such a dominant lead here. But the three of them are big enough that the, I do see why you spawn your attack in Serbia. The three of them are big enough that they could all gang up on them and beat them. I saw all will attack in a little bit as well here. The question is, will Empire get in on this? And they are. And interesting, the Empire just sat back patiently while these other three took out the, the crown. This guy's saying attack. They are attacking. <laughs> they are attacking you, all of them. Now, the question is, can they do it right? To do it properly, they need to attack, you know, wait for red interest, attack with like 20%, wait for red interest, attack for 20%, rinse and repeat. If you're being attacked, you don't attack. You sit back and defend. This guy's threatening a full sand forever. He's got 213,000 pixels. I think why you spawn here might be over attacking. Empire's telling why you spawn here to full send on Serbia. Um, realistically, their best move would be to sit back and defend up. I think Serbia, in spite of getting a, a 3v1, is still doing... He, uh, I just saw why you spawn here do a, a boat attack. And that's that's the what you want to do when you're getting teamed up on and you want to fight back. You know, if you're strong enough to fight back, which this person is, you f you want to focus on the person who doesn't know how to defend properly. By defend properly, you just take your hands off the mouse and keyboard and just let them attack you like crazy. If I was Serbia, first of all, they're attacking with too many troops. You need to sit back, wait for red interest, hit this, hit the guy who actually attacks you back and wastes their troops with like, you know, 20%. Like this guy right here. This guy keeps attacking even though he's being attacked himself. So just keep focusing on why you spawn here. Just keep attacking them. But he's this person like they are letting the troops get too low. And why would you attack? Oh, back right now. I don't think Serbia. I don't think they're the best player. I think I think they're a decent player, but uh, they're they're making mistakes here. I think honestly, I think Serbia could have won this, but they're they're down to 192,000 pixels. They need to stop attacking. Oh, they need to keep focusing on this guy right here because this person keeps attacking back. Get this guy out of here, get their land, turn into 2v1. Uh, also, they need to stop attacking so frequently. Be patient. Wait until you get close to red interest. Attack once. Wait, do it again. Unfortunately, Serbia did not play their cards properly, and these three have not relented in the 3v1. And uh, to be fair, Serbia is only this big just because they got lucky. The one guy full sent them and they had incredible borders. Sometimes players that don't deserve to win sometimes will get very close to winning or even win. It's not always the best player that wins. Sometimes luck is a factor. But now at this point, Empire is almost as big as Serbia. Now, see, now Serbia has finally started defending up to 21 million troops. They should have been doing that all along. They should not have been get let, attacking, 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 let themselves get down to 10 million troops when these guys had 11, 12 million troops. That was a mistake. And now Empire is taking the crown. The question is, will these people now turn and team against the crown, or are they going to keep committing against Serbia? I see some people are trying to vote for peace here, probably Empire since they have the crown. The attacks have really started slowing down, um, which as far as like tacti tactical gameplay is better, as far as something that's interesting to commentate, eh, less so. I'll probably do a little more jump cuts here. Right now it just seems like they're very, very slowly, patiently still are working on Serbia. Unless something changes, I'll just like jump cut forward. Looks like Serbia left and became a bot. They got tired of all three of them getting up. And the bot attacked Empire first with a fairly heavy attack. Empire's attacking back. This The fact that uh, Serbia left became a bot and the bot attacked Empire first is probably going to be pretty good for Owo here if they attack, you know, frequently, aggressively enough. And they, and they need to boat across here very quickly, like an instant boat. All right, they did it. It's a little bit slow, but they got it done. Empire got most of the land here. Now, but uh, Owo got almost as much. If they had boated a little bit quicker and a little bit quicker to attack, they probably could have gotten the crown there. They do have more troops. The question is, are they going to vote for peace? Uh, they should have attacked Empire while they had a couple more million troops, but they didn't. Now, the question is, are they going to vote for peace here? I mean, I'm, I'm seeing some truces. I'm seeing some hearts. Looks like they're all trying to vote for peace here. And there it is. Uh, Empire is the victor of that one. Stick around. We're going to spectate another match after this one. All right. We are in a world match this time. And we've been spawned over here, but I'm just going to AFK. And uh, some of you, you know, keep spamming emotes or something. Me, I'll click the surrender button. I could click surrender now, but then my bot would influence the, the you know, the gameplay over there. 
I want to be as little of an impact in the game as possible. All right, let's watch where some action is. There's a lot of people playing over here. Uh, this person is full sending on bots. Um, typically, full sending, especially when there's players right next to you, is usually a bad idea. Like, as soon as you're touching borders with other players, full sending is usually a bad idea because when your troops go down to one, people will just be very tempted to attack you and just get some free land while your troops are away. It's just, I mean, it's just, it, you're taking an incredible gam gamble that typically won't pay off. Again, right here, this person is attacking somebody who has more troops than them and more land, which is a mistake. This person is, I think they've just, they're just, they've, they're, they're, they're bad. They're just making mistakes. And it's unfortunate for Canada that they're the one paying the price for this person just, just being bad at the game. That's something new players do a lot. It's just, they just want to show up and attack stuff and, and lose and, 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 and unfortunately, it ends up ruining somebody else's match. Now, Canada's going to get pushed out by Royal Gim and Tommy and everybody around them. Just, they did nothing wrong except for get lucky, unlucky enough to spawn next to just somebody who wants to cause chaos and ruin somebody else's match. Somebody pushes out. Thank you. Appreciate that. I wish I didn't take, take, take control of my camera like that, but here we are. Over here in uh, North America, we've got somebody, we've got the crown up here. They're doing pretty well. How many troops do they have? Uh, they got as many troops as this person. They Oh, this person has double the troops of the crown. Um, it would be probably a wise move on their part to attack the crown, and they do. They don't have the best borders on it, so they are unfortunately going to make this person, this person, get really big. Um... So it's one of these things where like they could almost justify not doing that and set folks on getting bigger themselves over here with Hungary. But um like I don't like it's one of these things where like, yeah, they they stop the, the, the crown from being huge over here, and you know, they'll get bigger themselves. Actually, I kinda like how I kinda like the idea of them kind of chilling out on it a little bit and then working on Aaron staying here. But instead they're kind of going in on it and now it's all CCCP here had to do, you know, the USSR. All they had to do was sit back and wait, let them do all the work, and they reap all the rewards. And now they're up in third place here. And uh, if I'm well oiled, mum, I attack Aristan right now before they have a chance to build up any troops. You have 750,000 troops. Nobody around you is anywhere near you. Um, you want to take out this person before they have a chance to build up perfectly played. All right. Maybe they waited a smidge too long. But yeah, this person, this person right here seems to know what they're doing. So I, I highly expect that they are going to conquer Aristan and then probably go for Autumn Empire right now. Attack him again. Right, there we go. Um, this person probably needs to just save up or try to get this uh, Kanye East and Hungary and Deli Ali to attack them. Hungary's lucky to be in this. Well-oiled mum could have taken them early. They are really just sweeping away with it over here. Speaking of sweeping away with it. Ooh, down here as well, we have another person. North America and South America having uh, some really uh, lucky players getting a lot of land there. In spite of all this aggression, they're still having more troops than these people. That's they're, this person playing really well, and I'm sure this person as well. Their next best move is to take out Napoleon real quick. Actually, the box, the bots attacking them right away right now. Is well, well oiled mum is actually attacking the crown right now. That is a bold play, but not a terrible one. They do have like seven hundred thousand more pixels than they do. As long as these four players just leave them alone, honestly, not a terrible play on their part. And people are boating from across the way to attack the crown. That is ooh, Germany attacking them. Germany needs to hit them again real quick. Oh, that's so good for Germany that they're going to get in on this. It's also really good for well, well oiled mum because they can, uh, they can get this. Are they being attacked right now? I noticed they've kind of eased up attacking a little bit. Doesn't seem like it, but they do got to chill out on attacking because this guy's got as many troops as they do now. They can kind of hope, ask for Germany to do more of the work. Things are going really well for them. Over here, it's kind of like everybody's kind of stalemating, slowly expanding over there. All the actions over here. I'm focusing over here. Germany's attacking. Oh, this, he full sent on a bot. That is so funny. <laughs> Probably doesn't real. they might not even realize that it's a bot. I don't know why. I don't know why people do that, why they just full send on bots. Like, these two are the ones that are pushing you out and ruining your match, but then he full sent in a bot to make them win even harder. That is just, that, it, like, if I'm Germany or well-oiled mom right now, I'm just, I'm just, I'm laughing right now. I'm just, just, all that free land is just beautiful. Somebody else is trying to boat across. Who is this? Player 222. They might want to cancel that boat. You're going to anger Germany, who could easily just boat right down to you and fight you. But they probably won't, because a lot of people, especially people who don't choose custom names, tend to, you know, not even realize you can cancel boats, or they just kind of don't pay enough attention to it. If I'm well-oiled mum, I want to take out Napoleon next. Um, I'll, I also want to, yeah, get this. I probably, yep, they sent a boat down there, player 222. Honestly, well-oiled mum is probably a, a pretty experienced player. I've seen pretty much nothing but just solid plays from them so far. They'll take out Napoleon at, you know, when they're good and ready. Um, it's, it's, it's gonna be easy to take them out. I mean, they could probably attack them out right now if they wanted to. Over here, we got player six in South Africa and over here, and they're also trying to boat into this. I think they're trying to focus on boating down here as quick as they could before player six takes it off from them. That's good. Um, sitting on max cap troops, sitting on max cap troops. Maybe you guys are fighting each other a little bit. They couldn't have asked for better luck as far as these four here never ganged up on them. 
That is so fortunate. At any point, these even especially early on, these four of them could have ganged up on them and just ruined their match, and they would have lost. But they took some risks being aggressive when the people, had, instead of sitting back and saving up, and it really paid off for them. Now, the question is, who do they fight next? They took out Napoleon, I see that. They're actually sending some boats across the way. They might be wanting to fight Germany on Germany's own land. Uh, looks like CCP over here is attacking Kanye East. Well, Oil Mum saw that they were low on troops, and they're going to go ahead and attack them some more. This has been a very good match. Also, if you have any ideas for how you want me to, like, how CG focus on this during spectating matches, focus on that, spectate like this, spectate like that, you know, I want it, I want the spectating to be, like, you know, good contents, and I want to, I'm still learning how to do spectating commentary in a way that y'all enjoy watching and learning from. Um, man, they're doing well over there. Do you want me to focus on the person with the crown, or do you want me to focus on underdogs? Yeah, let me know. Um, for right now, I'm just kind of focusing, trying to focus on where the action is, what there's a competition. In Germany here, they're just kind of chilling. They can maybe try to fight AMR, but their their options are very limited right now, what they can do. Well, Oiled Mom, obviously, I think is going to attack Hungary next, and then maybe uh, Delhi Ali um, over here. Uh, maybe the AMR, Kazakhstan can attack Roman Empire because they're smaller, lower on troops. Um, yep, yep. Well, Mom is over here uh, carving through Hungary. Hungary's dropping the hearts. I mean, maybe the whole... <laughs> that's a, it's, it's a weird name, but apparently it's working for them. Nobody wants, nobody wants to fight them. I think they probably save up for troops a little bit more and go through Delhi Ali. I don't know if I'm saying that right here. Next. Yo-Yo left became a bot, so it's called football. Could go for that, but unfortunately they're getting attacked by Player 6 right now. Player 6 can swoop through this and then go up into Australia. Um, and it'll take a while to get there. If I'm either of these two guys, I'm one to... Yep, yep, I see that this person right here is trying to get this island. They're trying to work their way down to Yo-Yo, get some of that. Uh, looks like Well Oiled Mum is indeed slowly carving through uh, Delhi Ali over here, little by little. Neither of these two seems to be attacking Roman Empire yet, probably because they're afraid of over here. Maybe people have been fighting, maybe these two have been fighting. I don't know, it's just weird this guy's just getting away with chill and they're always fighting him. Maybe AMR, it looks like AMR was trying to boat their way up into there. Now they're finally attacking the Roman Empire. If I'm well-oiled mum, I probably want to boat my way over into Roman Empire because it's just a nice, quick, easy target. They got, like, right now what they don't want to have happen is just Germany and AMR getting up against them and slow them down while somebody gets huge and conquers all this over here and gets, because there's actually more land over here than there is over here, I think. Especially if you get, like, some of this in there. Like, if, if AMR and Germany and Kazakhstan, all three of them gang up against well-oiled mum and all three of them play really well, and slow down well oil uh, well, mum is trying to attack Germany right now and slow them down. Look at this. Player six now has 101,000 picks. It's only 48,000 behind well oiled mum. If they realize it's going, if they were, if they're aware they could attack uh, Germany, get a nice chunk of Germany, the question is they're probably, they're probably focused on boating like this right now, probably playing like this. A lot of people do. And oh no, they did. They did realize Germany was being attacked. Excellent board awareness on the part of player six. Excellent board awareness. They're over here boating this and over here attacking that. Player six is a pretty good player. I think I just saw AMR attack a well oiled mum. If player six joins in on fighting well oiled mum, uh, I think that's probably their best move. They don't really, it's, I don't think them, tr like, they could try to carve through Iran. Like, it's gonna take them so long to do all the boating. It's just, like, they need to join in on fighting well-oiled mum and hope that a couple people join in with them. That's their only... And they are doing exactly that. They realize that well-oiled mum is in a position to carve through land faster than they are, and so they've realized that, and they're starting to attack well-oiled mum. The problem is, the people that they... That, the people that they really need to help them, like Nawaf, you know, and this person here, would have to do some weird boating to get in and help, so unfortunately, unless Kazakhstan starts joining in the fight, it's not gonna matter. AMR is too small to help them. Kazakhstan is helping them a little bit, but I don't know, Kazakhstan only has 40,000 troops, it's not enough. These two combined, Player 6, Kazakhstan, do not have the troops to beat Well-Oiled Mum. They need a uh, Nawaf, and maybe these, they need one of these players, preferably two or three of them to join in. But unfortunately, they don't have borders, and Nawaf is starting to attack Kazakhstan. The one person that was helping Player 6 fight well, Oil Mum, is getting attacked from behind by Nawaf. Now, to be fair, if Nawaf can clear them up quickly enough, and then have borders, that's actually better. By the time Nawaf takes out uh, Kazakhstan, they'll have a similar amount of pixels as Player 6, and then two of them can attack well, Old Mum. While Player 6, oh, but Player 6 gave up, left and became a bot, and the bot immediately attacked Nawaf with about 30, 3 million troops, which and then attacked again with 3 million troops in Kazakhstan. The bots are broken. They attack too, with too many troops. They literally, in the course of 10 seconds, dumped like 6 million of the troops, maybe even like 8 million of their troops, on two random people. It's just so, like, they're so brutally overpowered and unfair. And well, Old Mump already had some, uh, uh, Little islands, nope, that, yeah, they little island taken down here, ready to swoop in on this. Well, Oil Mum is just playing beautifully.
And at this point, there's really not a lot anybody can do to take out a uh, well-oiled mum here. They're, they're, they, they played beautifully the entire match, like well-earned, deserved victory. Even when second place and these other guys were trying to like team up on them to stop them, it just didn't happen. To be fair, the only reason they are here is they got lucky when they were here that these four didn't gang up on them and take them out when they could. These four, there was a, there was a point in this match where the four of them could have uh, ganged up on them when they were fighting the crown down here and taken them out. But they got lucky that that didn't happen. So, and this is usually, this is quite often who will win these games. The player who is the best and who also gets a little bit lucky. I guarantee you there's probably one or two other players in this lobby, if not more, who were just as good as the game as Well Oiled Mum, but just didn't get as lucky early on. And that's usually how it goes. But since we know who's going to win this, I will jump cut four towards the end. And as the last person gets uh, pushed out here, our victor is Well Oiled Mum, a hard-earned, well-deserved victory. Smash that like button. Let's go.